So I couldn't believe that the jury couldn't see through the bullshit. Clearly the judge was cheating. The judge was making sure the witnesses weren't coming in. None of the material witnesses, none of the eyewitnesses came in. The all-powerful judge couldn't bring the four eyewitnesses in. Nor could he bring in other government people. I couldn't believe that the jury couldn't see through the bullshit. So basically, there's a lot of daddy dick sucking pieces of shit out there. A lot of authoritarian, fascist, you know, uh, uh, boss wannabe motherfuckers. But there's a lot of fucking bitch ass daddy dick sucking bitches. Well, I don't want to, you know, get in bad with the with the, the chief prosecutor and judge. So, so you can't see goodness or truth or justice when the authoritarian tells you what to fucking do. You you don't. You can't thank goodness, you can't see goodness, you can't... Do you give a shit about virtue? Do you have virtue? Because in order for our republic, our democratic and constitutional republic to survive, you gotta be a virtuous people. There was a bunch of errors, the instructions, the lack of preliminary hearing or grand jury, the weird games the court kept on playing. They weren't interested in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You know, if you say three warning shots... You guys are terrified of three little warning shots. You think it's a crime. Okay. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So you're saying people shooting at people is a crime. Well, people were shooting. And I called 911 and nobody gave a goddamn fuck. So don't tell me. They had a foregone conclusion. This is... Jeffrey Dahmer, and then they were going to fucking try to run me, you know, through the fucking mud in order to get their fucking, they had a foregone conclusion. And when you, I guess the whole system, instead of finding the truth, the whole truth and nothing, I got videotape of a crime. There's a crime on videotape. You don't have to search for the evidence. You don't have to twist anybody's arm. You don't have to be fucking pricks for no fucking reason. You got the truth on videotape, and you got a, a witness that says, hey, I filmed this, I saw the thing, and this is what I filmed. So you got the proper foundation, and you got the damn... It's videotape. It's self-authenticating anyways. But I can't convince any of you rat bastards of shit. I can't convince you of the photos, or of the fucking video, or of reality. I can't convince you. You guys are too... How skeptical these rat bastard motherfuckers are. Of a citizen making an accusation. Yet when a cop kidnaps somebody. You know. I.e. an arrest. Just a slight iota. They'll believe every fucking thing like it's the God's honest truth. Well. Uh, he wouldn't. That's so it's fascist. That is totalitarian fascist. And hypocritical. I'm going to go to the marijuana places. I'm going to ask the guards for their IDs first. Just to see if they're a bunch of fascist hypocritical piles of shit. It's a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Are you even old enough to work here? Let me see your ID. Let me see your ID. Let's see if you're old enough to work here. Part of me is, you know, I'm flattered. Oh, what, you think I'm fucking fed or something? And then think how the fuck I feel, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'm sure. If I had a fucking chance. Could do a lot of great fucking things. But here I am trying to get a little fucking bit of weed and you're being a bitch ass piece of shit. I can't even get a little bit of weed. Crazy how skeptical those rap bastards are of a citizen making an accusation. He has videotape. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? With that bullshit sham jury trial. Man. Imagine if a jury trial, imagine if our system actually was dedicated for truth and justice, like Cornell West says. In order to achieve justice, you got to have a foundation of truth, and everybody talks about justice. All your religions, the Bible, you know, Quran, Buddhist, all that shit. But the preamble of Colorado's Constitution, the preamble of, of America's Constitution, we're here to promote the general welfare. The general welfare of everybody. That's what we're here to do. To provide for the common defense. That's what we're, all of us Americans are here to promote the common welfare. I wrote them down here somewhere. Promote the common welfare. Provi provide for the common defense. 
for more perfect union and to establish justice. To establish justice. We have a whole judicial branch which is all about the justice system. Who talks like that? What, truth and justice? You motherfuckers with this fucking orange orangutan, we are in a post-truth era. No, there is an objective truth. I'm giving a peace sign. And I'm going to smoke this bowl of weed. Now you'll say that I didn't do this. The jury trial was limited to only three days. Whether we get the witnesses, whether we get the truth, who gives a shit? You got three days to get it all together. What if it's like a Johnny Depp thing and then Kate Moss? Kate Moss, they said that Kate Moss said and did something that Kate Moss didn't and say, we need to get Kate Moss in here and we need to get her testimony. Give the, give the defense and the prosecution a chance to do that. Nah, just three fucking days for a felony charge? How about just a preliminary hearing? I know we didn't do the grand jury, you know, the big old grand jury thing. But what about like a little preliminary hearing? No, can't do that. That damn Koberger got a fucking preliminary hearing. Tisha got a fucking preliminary hearing. Delada got a preliminary hearing. What'd Delada do? He kept his mouth shut. Or did he? I, who knows? What the hell? He shot a guy and the guy's dead. We know that. And then they weren't even... You're not going to pursue that accusation to the fullest extent of the law? Why not? Because you want to play ball with the, the, the defense, the public pretender? Where did that public pretender get the idea of a preliminary hearing? Where did he get an idea like that? And then painfully sequestered trial. A three-day limited painfully sequestered trial by a kangaroo court. I can never put a woman on a pedestal. I can never put a soldier or religious dickhole on a pedestal. Well, there he's a Christian, so that must mean he's good. No, no. You're good if I believe in your individual goodness. Nine women, three men, three so-called men. Fastest assholes. You give 12 people a little bit of power in Kirstia County and they got such a bloodlust, they're going to fuck you over no matter what. No, they didn't prove that I was fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. They proved that I was a good fucking guy firing three warning shots from behind my house. You're telling me that if somebody comes up and they... Christians are only good if they believe that murder and stealing and raping and violence are crimes. I don't think Christians have any beliefs. They believe in sucking daddy's dick, sucking the priest's dick, sucking the fucking... Just being obedient. Just shut up and obey the authoritarian that's in charge. And ultimately, since they have no beliefs, then they're just wicked savages. They have no morals. They don't listen to the law. And then when I told them about the devil worshiping shit that's going on, they don't give a fuck because they're devil worshipers. They're a bunch of evil worshiping piles of shit. They can understand worshiping a bunch of horse shit. That makes sense to them. Science, technology, gravity, the formula for gravity, mathematics, what the fuck are you talking about? Something I did notice though in the jury trials that I believe that the judge finally identified with me or kind of respected me somewhat because I went through so fucking much. He saw what I went through. The, you know, the jury, it was sequestered, so that means only one person could come in at a time. And then after they're out in the street and then, oh, it's all messed up, you're the one that called for the sequestration. Why not just have everybody sit in the gallery and then we just have a fucking trial? Could you imagine having a judicial system that got to the bottom of things, that got to the truth, and that actually established justice? Could you imagine an America or a Colorado that actually established justice, that remained true to her constitution? Is that not a contract with the government and the people? The revolution is victorious when the police identify with it. 
You had Shamar Thomas. He was a soldier, black man, big black man, soldier. Comes back and they're at a protest and the cops are beating everybody up. And he's like, what is going on? Yelling at them all. This is the United States of America, he said. And there are some cops around who want to beat the shit out of him for fucking speaking up. Because that's how fascists up until 10, 20 years, I guess before the internet. America was just the fastest fucking nation and everybody was just going, oh, well, shit, you know. America's fascist. What can you do? <laughs> what do you mean, what can you fucking do? We, we thumped the fascist. How are we the fascist? We thumped the fucking fascist and then we became the bastards? We, we fucking... What? It's bullshit. No, we thumped the bastards and they stay the bastards and we stayed the good. That's what we're supposed to... You know, at the very... Base level, I thought that maybe a jury of my peers from Fort Garland. Well, there's no rainbow revolutionaries. or, But maybe a jury of my peers from Blanca and Fort Garland can hear me out. I haven't been heard for 41 years, but maybe the jury from Costilla County. Maybe a jury from Costilla County will hear me out. No, sir. They couldn't hear me. Am I, am I speaking English here? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Is this thing on here? Yeah, yeah, I had a, a terrible fucking upbringing, so just because I have a piece of shit that was shitty to me, I just had to always experience crap. <laughs> that's, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. I say, let's give Job a break today. No, Job, you don't need to have a bunch of mosquitoes. Suck every drop of blood out of you. Just live your life for today. Just have a, just go have a sandwich. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Now I'm hoping that the system's going to hear me out. <laughs> oh, the people will hear me. No, the people will hear me and they will understand. My God, I endured 100 to 200 fucking crimes. I fired a couple warning shots. So if I'm... Being victimized and people, hordes of sodomites are shoving green beans up my kids' asses. And I've documented it and videotaped and called 911 and did everything that a legal person should, a lawful good person should do. After a hundred something crimes and then I fired three warning shots straight up into the air from behind my house. To say stop raping me and my family and my kids. In my community, in my republic, stop shoving green beans up my republic's ass. That, that's calls for six more years of raping? <laughs> when does the fucking raping stop? When does the hurting stop in that the terrible thunder lizards? Eat the cat if you just... Keep at it. Be persistent. Oh, man. So a jury from Costilla County could not hear me out. They, they were cheating, so maybe the instructions, they didn't have knowingly in the instructions, and it didn't have um, imminent serious bodily injury. You think I was trying to cause imminent serious bodily injury with three warning shots from behind my house? You're stupid. And you think that I knowingly, I didn't know felony menace, and I knew you could defend your house, your person, home person property by bearing arms. That I knew. So technically, couldn't have knowingly done any felony menacing. Warning shots is felony menacing. Yeah, if you're... Bunch of bitch ass pussies. <laughs> I can't put a woman or a soldier or a religious dickhole on a pedestal no more. So that just means I'm treating everybody fairly. There's good and bad in all groups of people, but uh, all oh, you're a soldier? Well, the Nazis were soldiers too. The Confederate fucks were soldiers too. Being a soldier, it, it matters what are you a soldier of? Oh, you helped fight the American Revolution? Awesome! You thumped the Nazis? That's fucking fantastic. You smashed the Confederates to pieces. I like that. Oh, you're in Vietnam? 
Huh. Did you try to come back and make up for all the fucking crimes? Four million dead. Because they want to feed their poor? And you just, oh, I guess you need to eat. So it was a job to you. Yeah, and you know why women disappoint me more than men? You think women are supposed to be better. You think women are supposed to be... They, men call women their better half. Oh, she's my better half. Like she's the captain of the morality squad. Sometimes they'll let her be religious because she knows morality, you know. But she doesn't know morality. She's pretty. She's manipulating the fuck out of you. And that's it. There's nothing more to it than that. So to put a woman or a soldier or a religious dickhole on a pedestal is to, if you respect an asshole, that person will always be an asshole to you. So if you're a good woman, you're a good person, a good soldier, and you've helped me out in life somehow, but just because you was a soldier? No, I knew too many soldiers that went to Iraq. They didn't fucking do shit for me. Fight for my fucking freedoms? No, you're fighting against my freedoms. That's all you've ever fucking done. And then religious people, all oh, your brainwashed fucking stupid, huh? You're a brainwashed moron. I like to believe in the thumb spaghetti monster. And I'm a feminist. And I'll continue to be a feminist. I'm just not going to put a woman on a pedestal. Oh, she's nicer and kinder and more moral. I bet you she thinks about universal health care and getting everybody in America universal health care more than I do. She wants a homeless shelter. Of course she cares about others. She carries children in her womb. So it should be natural for her to love and care. So it just, it hurts harder. A man, yeah, I mean, man, men can be shitty. But a woman, why are you shitty? Is it that bad out here? Is it that fucking terrible for you? You're just a sadistic piece of shit. Nine women and three men. You couldn't understand that after going through a hundred fucking crimes and then someone saying, stop committing a crime against... That's a crime? To say stop committing a crime? The guy didn't have any injury. Three warning shots from behind your house, there was no injury. Almost makes me wonder... So before you give me rape for the next six years, can I at least go, can I at least go slap them? How's that fair? And then all the crimes that happened to me, we're going to arrest them or do anything with them. We're going to ignore all that. Maybe if you fuck me over, then we could just, if you fuck over the messenger, then you could just pretend all that other shit didn't, it's on videotape. How are you going to pretend that it didn't happen? You really have to. Torture yourself and bend some fucking Jesus. How much truth and logic have you been bending? So if anybody's gonna win me over, it's gonna be because it's gonna go, it's going to be because I believe on you on an individual basis. Sorry. Clearly, whatever I'm doing is not working. Caring about the lot of us. I'll join with anybody to do good and I won't join with anybody to do wicked. So I'm not going to put you on a pedestal because of your religion or gender or sex or military, but I'm not going to put you down either. Everybody, basically I respect everybody. You can only take away from my, you know, you're a living person. You, you have rights, you have freedoms, you have your dignity. So let's deviate a little bit from what I've typed up here to what I wrote up this morning. Because <laughs> if you were to ask me, what were the biggest things that you wish you would have told the jury? There's a couple things with the instructions. But there is like some other points that we were making about the cops. We were all pretending that the cops could do no wrong. Or I asked the, the in Vordaire, can cops make a mistake? Does anybody here believe that a cop cannot make a mistake? What if it's not just not make a mistake? What if they're just fucking corrupt and lazy and evil and they don't give a shit? Oh, you had two drive-by shootings? 
we're going to find out later that you have Keith Schultz and Kenny Capen are friends. So why didn't Keith Schultz arrest Kenny Capen? Because Keith Schultz thinks that Kenny is a teddy bear sweetheart or something. So when I told Keith Schultz that Capen, well, he isn't going to arrest his buddy. He isn't going to arrest his friend. He ignored crime after crime after crime. All day, every day, he testified, oh, Jonathan's calling every day. All day, every day. But that wasn't the, the honest to God truth. That wasn't the precise truth. Now, was it? It's like maybe once a month or so. But that's, imagine, if you're annoyed by having to respond to a 911 call, imagine being the person who has to be a victim of a fucking crime and then call a piece of shit cop that don't give a fuck and just waste your fucking time. You're just slightly inconvenienced. Oh, okay. Well, I got crimes that's happening against me, you pieces of fucking shit. What the fuck is the matter with you piles of shit? We also found out that Troy Zinn is huge into the right-wing cyber movement. He knows all the big names. Vince Edwards and Bruce Doucette and more. There's a guy with the white truck cowboy hat. Flatbed. That motherfucker was at Daniel's house like every fucking day. That guy was all by the other orsons there in the back. So you have this white truck, flatbed, black flatbed, white truck. They knew who it is. Everybody probably knows who the motherfucker is because he's there out there all the fucking time. So I thought the big names were all gone. But Troy Zinn is huge into the right-wing sovereign movement. Why hasn't he paid for his planning and zoning permits? Because he's a right-wing sovereign. Associate or fucking captain. He didn't pay for his planning and zoning fucking permits. When he heard about my dog getting fucking murdered, he didn't give a damn. He's sitting there selling water illegally. Crime after crime after crime was happening. Just a mile or two from that motherfucker's house. That Valela, that Valela's been fucking with me online. And he's been fucking with me in other different ways too, but he's trying to insinuate like there's something wrong with me. No, you're the bitch ass piece of shit. I know who I am. I know what I see. I know what I know. I know what I've seen. I know what I've experienced. And I also know what the evidence proves or suggests. Or suggests or proves. And that's actually all anybody knows. But I know what I saw. I know what I experienced. Bitch ass pieces of shit that don't want to fucking give a shit about me. Or has no heartbeat. How skeptical people can be. How fucking skeptical are you? I got arrested for firing three warning shots. The only evidence was a two-minute videotape that he didn't even turn into the cops. They didn't even ask for evidence. When they hear an accusation of somebody that they like versus somebody that they don't know or they were annoyed by, oh, well, he did call us 911. We have to drive all the way out here and it's just for some spotlighting and it's... So I could just spotlight you in the middle of the fucking night. I could drive by your house doing drive-bys. I could... Murder your fucking pets. You guys need to be okay with that. <laughs> you wouldn't say a word. Bullshit. The biggest points I wish I would have made to the jury is exactly that. If I would have drove by any of these cops' house, drive by the sheriff's house, drive by a deputy's house, and did some felony menacing, and that deputy fired a couple warning shots, who puts him in jail? Who puts that cop in jail? Well, Mr. Police Officer, you're not allowed to shoot warning shots in defense of home, person, and property. Mr. Police Officer's got a license to kill. So nobody's going to bitch about him firing a few warning shots. What a bunch of bitch-ass pussies. I'm a, I'm a bit of a badass. I had to endure drive-by shootings. The motherfucker was right the fuck over here in Conejos County one time. And I guess technically he went to drive-by because he's parked... <laughs> But I had endured two drive-by shootings in Costia County. Definitely out of Robert Pickerell's house. And I strongly suspect it's Kenny Capen. Like 90, 95% sure. Because uh, Robert Pickerell moved into town and that was his only friend. The only person that kept going over to his house. It's Kenny Capen. And I guess it didn't start out being a drive-by. They were just spotlighting my dogs and getting my dogs stirred up at like 9 o'clock at night. And I felt like I was like Dumbo's mother. Turned around and saw that 
your child is being bullied by these other bullies and then you, you took the bullies and you said, stop being bullies. And then it's Dumbo's mother that gets in trouble for that. She's just protecting her loved ones. She's just protecting her babies. They're spotlighting me and then I fired a warning shot and then he drives down and then he's firing at me. I fire a warning shot straight up into the air. You're the one fucking with me 9 o'clock at night. So these punk ass bitch ass piles of fucking shit. If people want to fuck with you, they'll just find a fucking reason. They don't need a fucking reason. But officer, I don't what could what could Robert Pickerell's explanation be? Well, officer, you don't understand. We were fucking with him late at night, spotlighting his dogs, right? If they told the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, they'll lie. Oh, you don't understand, officer. We wasn't doing nothing. We were just innocent little bunny rabbits and big old mean old John Masters just fired warning shots and we don't know why. There to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, he's a progressive, he's political, he's paying for his planning and zoning permits. He's kind of really putting a damper on our right-wing sovereign fucking fuck the government and fuck all the police and fuck the world kind of culture around here. Yeah, I'm a progressive. So I'm positive, political, and progressive. So we weren't going to be the bestest of friends to begin with. I'm not going around criminalizing. I'm not a terrorist, sovereign piece of shit. So I don't think I could just fucking... I believe in freedom for myself. But people that think that they could control your life, think about that freedom. They can do as the fuck as they please, and they get to tell you what to fucking do. <laughs> what? That's a lot of freedom. You're taking... You get all the fucking freedom, and nobody else does? You even get to take my... You get your freedom and my freedom. You get to take everybody's freedoms, huh? So I want to compare and contrast. Essentially, if me and four of my buddies goes out and get some AK-47s and we kidnap, let's say, just for the example, the Supreme Court of Colorado, which, I don't know, was there 12 of them or something? You can't, that's not possible, but that's why this is perfect. Because what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you want to see if something is fair and just, all you have to do is just reverse the roles. Just reverse the roles. So if I go and kidnap you, Supreme Court, right? I get four guys and I kidnap you out of your house and I take $5,000 out of your pocket and I make you spend a day in jail and then I parade the Supreme Court for the next year and a half over 24 appearances like a fucking jerk off. You're the alleged, you know, perpetrator. They're the alleged victim. We haven't had any determination whatsoever. They haven't even asked what the hell's happened, but the cop kidnapped you, so... Since I've kidnapped the Supreme Court, I parade you around like a jerk-off over 24 times, threatening to get you raped for the next six years by the Hells Angels or the Jailers or, you know, who the heck ever. If you don't think any of that's fair, and I just do it because you fired a couple warning shots in defense of home, person, and property, and, well, hell, you know, I'm on the side of the other people, and that makes, that, that scares me. Would you think that's fine? Would you think it's in the name of truth and honesty and goodness and justice? Would you say, hey, that's good for the republic. I'm glad that's happening. I feel safe now. You feel safe if any random ass person gets four friends with AK-47s and kidnaps and takes $5,000 out of their pockets and parades them. You know who you can definitely arrest? Anne Frank. Anne Frank says, hi, I'm Anne Frank and I'm nice and I'm not going to hurt you and is that so you got to know if you're a police officer you're going to arrest a whole bunch of dangerous people but you're also going to arrest all the Anne Franks that Nick Valela he was like I'm just glad you're not a cop when I went to jail I spent one night in jail and that guy there's a guy in there that knew Kenny Capon so that's interesting and he said it looks like you don't belong here so only a jailbird and a fucking right wing, creepy, weird fucking. So these motherfuckers, the criminal motherfuckers, think I'm so honest and upright and outstanding that hell, he might be a cop. He might be an undercover. He's probably a U.S. Marshal. So these motherfuckers, you know, put me up so high. And then these other motherfuckers, oh, you think you're all that? 
and a bag of chips. Pringles or Doritos? Cool Ranch? I am 